Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a nice affordable men's dress watch from a brand out of Canada. As you can see, I already have the watch out of the box. I've been wearing it for a couple of days now. But you can get a quick glimpse at this watch. It's quite a stunning dress watch. Obviously it's a dress watch. It's very, very thin if you look at that. And this is from none other, this new brand called Zampieri, uh, based out of Canada. And this is their Padua model. And here's the box it actually comes in. Um, it's basically heavily inspired by his Italian heritage. And the box is actually really, really kind of luxurious and nice uh, for this price. So let me just get the top off. You do get a nice polishing cloth in here. You also do get a certificate of authenticity, which uh, is pretty nice here. As you can see, it does list some specifications as well. Uh, if you want to get a quick glimpse at that. The box itself is very nice. It's lacquered wood, kind of like a piano lacquer. Very nice here, as you can see with Zampieri. Nice push button here. And when you open this up, the watch would be in here, but I took the watch out. As you can see, just a very, very nice and luxurious box. Let's get into the watch now. So at first glance, it seems like a very simple watch, but it has a lot of nice specifications and a very nice strap as well. And this is their pretty much their main model that they sell through their website. I will drop a link in the description below so you can check them out and read more about the brand after this video. Starting with some main specifications, obviously this watch is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel, the industry standard. It is 39 millimeters in terms of diameter here, so it's not really large. It's a dress watch. Under 40 is perfect. Now in terms of thickness, the actual case is 6.3 millimeters thin. I mean, that's like really crazy. Probably the thinnest watch I have ever tried on in my life. Uh, besides maybe some Bulgari watches, those super thin ones. Um, but yeah, this is about in that territory. In terms of lug to lug width, we're looking at 45 millimeters. We do get 20 millimeter lug widths here. And it's a very simple watch. We have an e actually an enamel white dial, which is kind of luxurious there. As you can see, it looks very nice. A nice sapphire crystal as well. Uh, so they did not skimp out on any aspect of this watch. We get a pull and push crown with 5 ATMs or 50 meters of water resistance, which is pretty good considering most watches of this category are about 3 ATM or 30 meters. Crown is located at your typical 3 o'clock position. Now we have nice polished Dauphine hands, uh, which reach all the way out to the end of the dial, which I do appreciate. Nice polished applied markers, as you can see there. Uh, very neat, no errors there. We have a double marker at the 12 o'clock position and then single markers going around the dial. Zampieri is printed in black uh, below the 12 o'clock position. Very short lugs here, as you can see. And it just kind of reminds me of a, a classic dress watch, you know, from the 60s or 70s that like houses like Paddock used to put out. Uh, just a great watch to wear with a suit or a tuxedo or a special event or something of that nature. I did state we do have a sapphire crystal in here, and also we do get a Swiss Ronda 1062 quartz movement, that is a dateless quartz movement. So you just have your time only, and that's pretty much all you need for a dress watch. It's very clean, it's very symmetrical, and it looks its part. Now the watch itself, um, if we flip over to the case back here, as you can see, the case back itself is uh, held down by four real screws, which is very nice. It's completely polished, stated Zampieri, Padua, the model. And then we have uh, five ATMs and water resistance here, all stainless steel, very clean, elegant. I think it, they uh, did a good job on the case pack as well. Now to actually function this watch, I gotta be careful, this is very high polished here. As you can see, the polishing is very high polished, very neat, there are no sharp edges or anything like that. And the polishing is pretty good. So we can just pull the crown out to one position here, and then we can set the time. And that's about it. Very simple to use. Uh, no one should have an issue with that. Now the actual strap they use is probably the highest grade uh, Italian leather you can get, and it is vegetable tanned as well. As you can see, it's kind of padded over here. It feels very nice and smooth, and then it gets a little thinner over here in terms of thickness, uh, where you'd strap it on your wrist. And I believe it does state full grain Italian calf leather, which is definitely a few grades above genuine leather, which is really bad. So they did use a very nice and expensive strap on these watches, and they did equip them with quick release bars, which is very nice. But I don't think you'll need to change out the strap. Now, it's very nice and very flexible as well, uh, straight out of the box. The buckle is solid stainless steel, 
uh, with Zampieri engraved in there, uh, which is very nice. I think it looks just fine. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on my 6.5 inch wrist, show you what these dimensions look like. Here is the Zamperi on my 6.5 inch wrist. And as you turn your wrist, it almost disappears. That's how thin it is. If you look at that, it's very comfortable. You do actually feel it on the wrist. Um, it's not like it's super, super light. It is solid stainless steel. Uh, the strap itself is very comfortable. So I have no issues there. It definitely is very legible. The Sapphire Crystal does a very good job and those polished markers do shine pretty bright. Uh, so you should have no issue reading the time there. So there you have it. This is the Zampieri Padua from this new brand based in Canada. And I think it's a pretty good watch. You know, there are a lot of brands out there uh, making dress watches, um, time only or time and date dress watches that are kind of like fashion watches and very cheap, such as Daniel Wellington, The Fifth, all those brands. And they don't use good quality materials, they don't use good movements, they don't use good crystals, they don't have great finishing, and they don't have great bands. So, in my opinion, this is kind of like um, a real dress watch, you know? <laughs> um, it has everything you want. It has a sapphire crystal, it has a Swiss quartz Ronda movement, which has a six-year battery life, uh, which means in six years from now you'll have to change the battery, which is a very long time. You get a vegetable tanned, genuine calf leather band an Italian calf leather band. You get very nice uh, finishing and everything. And you get a very nice box as well. That lacquered box is actually really, really, really nice. So I think they, it's a nice little package if you want a dress watch for special occasions or something of that nature. Something that will last you a long time and something that's incredibly thin and fits under the cuff. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. And I will get back to you there. You can find the written article on this watch on www.watchaddictchannel.com. And I will see you guys real soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>